All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. Happy Monday to you. Well, it's Monday as we're making this video. Uh, we had an awesome weekend. My kids had their first football game out in the hot sun. They sucked it up and they won. So the season's off to a good start and my coaching season's off to a good start. Now, uh, that's not why you're watching this though. You're watching this because you wanna see what we're doing with mountain dog training. And specifically, this video or this series is gonna teach you how to build your own mountain dog workout. So as you saw in the video Friday, if you didn't see the video, make sure you watch it, the one on Friday. But it talks about four phases in a workout. And phase one is this pre-activation pump kind of phase where you use exercises that you really feel well, get the blood going. Phase two being a more of an explosive training type phase where you're using compound movements, you really work on your strength and progressive overload. Phase three being a super max pump phase where you go all out on pump. You just try to get as much blood into the muscle as you can, create a ton of metabolic stress. And then phase four, training the muscles in a stretch position. So a really good range of motion, almost an extreme range of motion to kind of stretch the muscle out after the crazy pump you get. Now, the cool thing about the way we're, the way we're gonna do this is you're gonna get your options at the end of this video. So we're gonna roll into phase one at the end of this video and you're gonna get three exercises that you can pick from. So you pick the exercise that you want. Now, when you pick the exercise, let's say you pick the slight incline dumbbell press. It, they're gonna be short videos, you know, something like a two, three minute video. At the end of that video, you're gonna get your selections for phase two. Like three more exercises. So let's say you take the incline barbell bench. It's gonna be another short video, two, three minutes. At the end of that, you're gonna get your options for phase three. So what I'm trying to say is you're gonna be able to pick the exercises that you like the most. Um, just watch it and at the end of each one, you get the next, uh, you get the next set of options. Kind of like those choose your own ending books. At least they were popular when I was a little kid. But this is gonna allow you to pick the exercises that work for you. I'm gonna explain the sets and the reps. I'm gonna explain the intensity. There literally should be no questions asked after this, although I do like questions. So. If you're still not sure, ask me. The only other thing I would mention is if you are a more of a beginner or intermediate, when you pick the exercise you like, I would advise that you stick to them. Eight, 12 weeks, really work on your form, work on getting stronger, work on your mind-muscle connection. You don't really want to do too much rotating. Just find the exercise that work for you, stick with them and pound away. If you're more advanced, you've been training a long time, you can be a little bit more liberal with changing exercises, creating different stimuluses and so forth. So depending on where you're at, that's going to tell you whether you should keep the same exercises in or do a little bit more rotating. I tend to do more of the same exercises. I just kind of change the angles a little bit. So those of you who are doing push pull or upper lower body training splits, this won't, all of this won't apply to you, but I would like for you to see the exercises and how we're doing them. Because when I get back around to doing the push pull upper lower body versions, you're gonna see some variation. Um, that's, you're, go, you're gonna have variations that fit you. Let's get started. I think this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna do this for each body part. So off we are with our options for phase one. 